You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linder, your host, and I'm pleased and privileged to have with me Philip Hosaurus. Nice to see you, Phil. Mark. Very nice that, to see you. That first table is Here doozy. I do that all the time, and when I have my watch, I <laughs> bang it on the table. Uh, Philip, I am very impressed with everything you have done over at the Brockton Public Library. The, the poetry, the healing, the getting the Brain Injury Association yep. involved with all the artistic expression, you have helped to make Brockton Public Library come alive. Oh, thank you very much. Okay. Yeah, it's an, an honor, and I'm humbled that I can be working with the library. And Director Paul Engel, he's been um, fabulous, you know, bringing in new ideas. See, when I was in school, they used to, like, force us to read poetry. Mm -hmm. And usually when you're in English class and they tell you you have to read something, you don't want to do it. Oh, absolutely. Like I rediscovered later on in life uh, Canterbury Tales, which I hated when I was in school, mm -hmm. and uh, Beowulf and stuff like that. I always kind of liked Shakespeare, but poetry was like, they didn't really concentrate on it, and I wish they had. Not to the extent they do today. I mean, when right. we were in school, poetry was basically roses are red, violets are blue. Right. How do I love thee? Let me count the way. It was all rhythm, rhythm and kind meter. Of Right. right, but now it's more expression, thought, poetry. Mm -hmm. You know, it's how you feel, and uh, free verse is is uh, wide around the poetry community now. And I was honored to be asked to host the big event that you did last year. Yes, that was wonderful. And as I said, you know, what I try to do is we want to bring recognition to Brockton. So. We had um, 18 poets of different languages mm -hmm. come down from, um, you know, from Cape Cod all the way um, up from Newburyport. And they all Young came. Young talent, older talent, middle of the range. It was, I, I just, I thought, you know, I'm going to be there for a long time. And how are you going to hold my interest with 18 poets? And you did it. Oh. I think people liked it on TV. Beautiful backdrop. It was, it was the bomb. As some people uh, thank would you. like yes. to say. So you're getting ready. Um, you have a book. A book. Yes. It's called Light of the Moon, My Journey Through the Stages of Grief. Okay, and let me tell you something. I've been dealing with that myself. I lost my dad yes. about a year and a half ago. Um, I've lost a lot of special people in my life within the last year. Somebody likes to say to me, you go to a lot of wakes and funerals. I think it's the ultimate sign of respect. I also think it's more important to go there than to go to weddings sometimes. Sure, yes, you want absolutely. to express to the people that you love them when they're getting married and it's a happy occasion, but they're still going to be around. Okay, I lost a best friend at 46. My dad was 90. He lived yeah. a good long life. But Fabiola in Brockton, 39 years old. Um, someone I know just recently dealing with the opioid epidemic. Right. Um, just and you gotta deal with it. And if you can express yourself. Well, that's the important thing. Right. Because what we do is we hold our feelings in and they become toxic. And what that brings on is bad decisions. Um, we can ar we, arguments. Mm -hmm. And unless we can express ourselves, get, get that toxicity out, um, it's just a downhill battle. You're right. It you could be a pressure cooker. Absolutely. And keep it all inside, and then, gee, your blood pressure rises, yep. you have cardiac issues, or you eat too much, or you right. don't eat enough, yep. or you um, crawl under a rock. But you become you can, introverted. Exactly. You don't want to talk to anybody. Right. So um, this book was um, by the passing of my wife. Um, which is 10 years ago. It would mm -hmm. be 10 years coming up um, May 4th. So it took me 10 years to write this book. Um, and as I like to say, there is no um, time limit on grief. No. When it, everybody has their own way of dealing with grief, everybody has their own timetable, and that's how we deal with it. Um, and so what I did with this book is try to go through the stages, the, the, the five stages of grief, um, and I coincided it with the phases of the moon. So each chapter is like a phase of the moon. So 
I don't want you to give it all away because nope. we want you to come. The event is Saturday, yep. March 2nd, 2 to 4 at the Driscoll Art Gallery, which is the top floor of the library. Um, Philip is going to be there with a special guest cellist. Right. She's going to be accompanying me on the, as I read the poetry, we're going to have um, Christy Foy, who plays the cello for the Brockton Symphony Orchestra. She'll be accompanying me. Um, so we'll have two voices. That's amazing. I, I, you know, anytime you can tie music in with anything, because yep. if you think about it, uh, music is kind of the soundtrack of life. On TV, you watch soap operas and there's music in the background. On dramas, there's soap operas. There's, I have music in my head when I'm thinking about things. People know that if I have classical music on, maybe you might want to stay away from me for a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, my father, I used to make fun of that when I was a kid. I, I don't want to listen to that. I want to listen to my music. It was kind of 70s music. Now I like it. I like his... Cuban music that I didn't particularly care for because I don't speak a word of Spanish, but now I love it. Oh, absolutely. Okay, um, but I love, my, my wife and I love strings. We love violins and cellos, and the Brockton Symphony does a wonderful job. Yes, they do. Um, so um, I got a five-minute cue. I might be about three left. Three. Okay. That's my three. So can you tell us in less than three minutes what the five stages of grief are, or at least a couple of them so we can... Give them something to want when they come on the well, there's Well, there's anger, mm -hmm. um, disappointment. Um, we want to lash out. And then we start coming out of the stages. You know, there's, hope, there's like that light at the end of the tunnel. Um, so, you know. So this is a free event. Oh, I'm looking at other people that are part of it as well. Well, these... They gave me uh, the review, the testimonials. Oh, they did the review, and yep. one of them is my wonderful colleague, Joseph. Dr. Joseph Policape. I always, I don't know if I'm saying it right. Yep. I just call him Joe. Joe. He's on the library board with me. Right. He's a great yeah, he guy, and he's the, the pastor of the church down on North Main Street, and bereavement counselor for the Hot Beacon Hospice. Um, I dealt with hospice with my dad, mm -hmm. two different ones, and you have a prof former professor of political science and poetry. So there's, there's even more credibility. Brandeis University, how can you go wrong with that? Um, the other thing, and I don't want to miss nope. talking about this, yep. you are going to do an expressive healing workshop. Right, that's going to be the week after, okay. be March 9th, from 10.30 to 12. Um, again, at the Brockton Library, free. Everybody's mm -hmm. you know, welcome to come. And what I'll be doing is doing um, expressive healing through artistic expression. So, we, so what I do on the um, workshops is I started with the Brain Injury Association. They right. asked me to um, do some writing workshops for them. As the workshops progressed, my workshops evolved from not only poetry, but now I bring music, art, and sculptures, which I are love very it. important well, um, in the workshop. I wish we had another uh, nine minutes. Oh, we just touched the surface, but here's the deal. Two events, right. both free, March 2nd, Brockton Library 2 to 4, uh, reading from the book and accompanied by cello, yeah. and expressive healing the following week, Saturday, March 9th, 10.30 to 12, expressive healing. Philip, awesome. great job. Thank you Thank for being you. here. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate it. You're welcome. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.